Welcome to this video. In this video we are going to configure this network with RIP version 2 and uh, you can see we are using uh, variable subnets in VLSM. So we have .3.8 here, .3.0 and .3.4 that is all slash 30 networks on the serial interfaces which are interconnecting the routers. This is R1, R2 and R3 and our goal is to have connectivity between PC0 and PC1 and later on we will use this uh, network as a reference network to optimize our routes in the next video so let's start I have configured the basic networking so my all the interface are reachable and if I check that the IP addresses have been configured to enable uh, RIP version 2 I will go to the config terminal and I will just type router rip select the version 2 and I will define the networks which are connected here so I will define 168.3.0 okay 1.0 and same here for R2 network 192.168.3.0 and here in R3 outer zip version 2 network 192.168.3.0 and 2.0. Let's uh, let us first of all check show router. Sorry, show IP root rip on. <coughs> this is on router three, and you can see uh, the rip has already uh, identified the interfaces and what is the uh, subnet and how it's reachable let's change one more thing if you go to the router rip, if you do so there's auto summary we'll make it no auto summary sorry no auto summary so this will not uh, summarize the routes and all right so let's check so all the our routes have been uh, converged you can see here on router one we have three uh rip in uh, you can say entries first is 1.0 which is connected by 3.10 so this is an r1 here so 1.0 is reachable through 3.10 this interface okay So for to reach from it will forward the packet to 3.10 which is this interface and for 2.0 via 3.6 which is this interface 3.6 and the last one is 3.0 is variably subnetted so we have variable subnetted for 3.0 3.0.0 uh, sorry 3.0 slash 30 is via 3.10 so if we want to inter reach this interface it will be through 3.10 and via 3.6 so either this path or this path so it's kind of a loop here so let's do one thing I will try to check how the packet routing will work now we'll try to ping 2.2 .2 and 2.2 is a uh, IP address for this PC so if I ping here okay, I'll reset it and I will just start the ping again so the packet will be uh, will uh, the ICMP packet is generated at PC0 and it will be forwarded to the switch the our access network and from the switch it will be sent to the default 
router for PC0 that is the R2 interface at gigabit Ethernet 00, 0 and then from it uh, it is forwarding to R3 and from R3 the switch which is connecting the PC1 and is sent back to PC1 now PC1 will send a uh, echo reply so this echo reply will go to the switch 1 and from switch 1 to the default uh, gateway or the default router for the PC1 that is on the R3 at gigabit uh, interface 00 and from that it will be forwarded to the router R2 and from there back to the switch and the PC so this is how uh, it is working here now the thing is our routes have been converged and uh, the packet can take any path from uh, either it can use this path or it can use this path so in the next video we will check how we can you know uh, let the packet decide which is the best path to take uh, this is a uh, the basic setup for uh, RIP version 2. I hope it is clear to you and uh, in case you have any queries just drop me in the comment box and I will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.